I'm gonna wake up at the leisurely time of 7:30. Okay. Right. That's luxury o'clock, Steve. 7:30. Huh? So we got all right. Here we here we are back. We just ate these uh, chicken wings. These guys are all amped up on protein. Oh yeah! Bam! So we ate the uh, chicken wings that um, James Prokop uh, decided to get us from the Winchester. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Winchester. Yeah, it was a long yeah. drive. Those are some yeah. big chickens. Those Thank wings God. came off of. What's that? Those are some good-sized wings, bro. Like, no, oh, so, yeah, they do the, the breaded thing, mm-hmm. you know, but um, we kind of, there was some time that passed because we were talking to all of you, and... Uh, all you beautiful people. Yeah, and we... Especially you. So, so I got an air fryer for uh, oh, yeah. uh, Christmas for my father, <laughs> Rocco Deliberato. Rocco! Thank Rocco much. Deliberato. So I thought this thing was like a fat and whatever. I'm like, come on. It is. I air with this thing. No, but I'll tell you what. I think I'm impressed so far. It's a small convection oven. But it's better than a microwave oven. Everything's better than a microwave oven. My lighter is better than a microwave oven. Me lighting that drum on fire and sticking a chicken in it is better right. than a microwave oven. So anyway, I've never had a convection oven, so I'm sorry. You know, so so whatever. This is my first. So I barely ever use my microwave oven. Mm-hmm. I mean, you heat up water or whatever. But I, mm-hmm. normally it's oven, um, cast iron skillet. And I mean, I, I've said this so much uh, <laughs> in front of this stupid camera. And then a, a, a Dutch oven. That's primarily, what I, unless I'm making some kind of like butter garlic sauce or something like that, I'll saute that or whatever. You know what I mean? But uh, primarily, that's what I'm using. So when I reheat things, I don't even use the microwave. I'll use the oven or the cast iron skillet. Oh, you know what? My brain just something just occurred to me. You know, Denbeck's coming for your popper kosh crown. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, is he? Yeah, that went hard. Oh, that went well. super fucking hard. I, I'm going to feel Holy like shit. I inspired him. No, <laughs> 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 oh, I like about what you. You, got? you, what you, you, got? you. You people and your stupid pissing contests. <laughs> you people. Hey, that's racist. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, against Italians. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, no, yeah. So, did you just m- recently make a popper crash? Twice. Yes, I did. Yeah, Twice. how was it? Uh, it was good. Yeah. It was good. It came out it came out real yeah. good. I was pleased. No, I wasn't in my The first one was super spicy, and the second one was, like, less hot. Like, he made it so that it was sweet. Well, it, was, it wasn't hot. hot at all. Right, he made it sweet instead what, of hot. What, what made it uh, spicy? Hot paprika. Versus sweet. So, the, you used the hot Hungarian? Yeah. I used, like, uh, like 80-20. I use sweet paprika, and then I use twenty percent like hot paprika. See, no, dude. When I make it, I usually do the other way. I do the majority of it. It didn't come off as that hot to me. It's weird. The the stuff you made. Yeah. I wonder what that was. I think. Well, I don't know. I don't know. How'd you make it? How'd I make it? Yeah. Um, I made mine with just. It was just. Wait, I just want to say, we're talking about. Chicken paprikash. We should call this the paprikash. <laughs> no, no, very, very, very briefly. Um, I used uh, just uh, I, my my paprikash emphasizes uh, just the the pepper itself. Okay, I use fresh peppers, roasted I peppers. Do that. I don't and do roasted. Fire roasted peppers oh, yeah. that come in like a jar. You can uh, get them anywhere. Yeah, Chinese. Nice. Yeah. Delalos, baby. Nice. No, not Delalo. Uh, no. Nice. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't remember what the label on the jar said. <laughs> right. Um, but I use fire roasted peppers and uh, fresh uh, red bell peppers, mm-hmm. and um, I used oh, yeah. lemon and dill. Lemon. Dill. To lemon brings out. Mm-hmm. The pepper, sure, absolutely. It, it brings out the pepper, so oh, it brightens it up. <clears throat> brightens it up, yeah, and then sure. I put dill, dill down there. Yes. Wow, I would have never thought to use dill. No, no. Dill balances out the the citrus, the pepper, yeah. and the sour cream. Okay, and it kind of makes it all kind of sing together. Coalesce. Yes, coalesce nice. exactly. That's wow. Funny. Yeah. The, the way I was taught to make chicken paprikash. By this charming Italian lady, actually. Okay. 
involved like cream cheese as opposed to sour cream. Cream cheese, you say? I yeah, I'm not even kidding. It's very really? good. But you know, after I've had so many different paprikashas, I come to I don't think of this dish as a paprikash at all. Right. It's got a lot of things in common, you know, like the peppers and right. the onions. That, well, I mean, yeah. a, a, a paprikash is, <laughs> is basically a take on a goulash, mm-hmm. you know, just paprika heavy, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, like Steve, I do like to incorporate the uh, fresh green peppers. and uh, No, not uh, green peppers. No, red, red peppers. and orange <clears throat> bell do guys, peppers. Do you guys go hard on the onion at all or no? Yes, so I, I do a lot of I do equally as much onion as I do um, pepper. I do not. Yeah, and then I'll. Uh, How many I'll, onions do you use? Well, I use the basic whites. I I, I mean I, I use here I use, we are. You're gonna you're I gonna call both. me a racist again? <laughs> no 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 no. I use I use both um, yeah. Yeah. yellow onion and white uh, onion, both and I use white onion, onion because flavor. because. Um, I use the white onion because it's just what I had on hand. Sure. I think it's drier. I like them better. For well, sure. I, I like the white onions because it's more onion. You know, everything else is more fruitier flavoring. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know right. what I mean? Your yellows, your vidalias, they're, they're yeah. super yeah. sweet. Yeah. So I'm not looking for a fruity flavor. No. I want I mm. want that onion Yeah. That's how I feel about you know uh, I mean? the yeah. onions from my, um, I'm doing pierogies. Yeah. For white onions and the pierogies. Yeah. I think Jim does too. Yeah. Pierogies, yeah. Yeah. Vidalia, the sweet. No, the white, on, the no, white, just white, the white. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because it has, it is more uh, true onion flavor. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, if I'm doing like a some kind of pork preparation, yeah, yellow all the way. I want that sweetness. Well, uh, pork in general, you know, yeah. it, it, it for some reason it lends itself to yeah. sweeter. Can you turn down the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack upstairs? <laughs> yeah. uh, there like, is a when you do a pork a, roast and like at the very end. You smack it around with some vinegar. Yeah. Smack it. Smack the vinegar on there. Oh yeah, it's nice. I uh, that's my favorite. The the my favorite part of a large roast is to smack it. Yeah. 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 Because it's funny. Yeah, You're a freaky a little, little bitch. Well, you yeah. definitely got to put that put the apple cider vinegar on there at the very end. Yeah. Like after <laughs> actually, you know, when I'm at, well, sometimes when I take some time away from. Uh, making my individually fried potato chips. Okay. I also <laughs> make sucks. small. I also make. I also make really, really <laughs> small batch aged multiple apple cider vinegars. So, and then I've learned how to make my own. Uh, <laughs> my, my, what, what, wait, wait. My, I, I, I make small batch lye so right. that I can, you know, make my own. What's that stuff called? Soap. It's called soap. No, not soap. Not soap. <laughs> the, the the corn pop with lye. What was so, that? so no, you what? mentioned the individually fried Into little individual. Well, actually, no. So, Vince over here did some individually fried right uh, potato chips, and they were potato wonderful. Potato chips. Yep. Yeah. So we were we were basically uh, waiting for this uh, air fried chicken. So not only did we do the Winchester chicken wings, which were amazing, they were amazing. Yeah, yeah. they weren't as many as I would have liked. <laughs> That's okay. Well, yeah. well, we had Jim go, and he decided to get six of them. So yeah, I did that. He's looking out for our health. <laughs> he wants us to live a long time. So we all had one happily. Yeah, you know, or some people had two. You know, whatever. Oh, I had two. <laughs> so I because they were they were they were really yeah. good. No, uh, yeah, well, they, I they was were, busy. They were great. You know, I and didn't have much we, time. We, I was trying to perfect my small batch hominy. Right, so we, we 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 threw them in the. Uh, That's what it is. How many? We threw them in the oven, not the not even the air fryer. We threw them in the oven for a couple minutes, turned it off, and then did the whole podcast thing. Went up, and they were yeah, they were fantastic. Sort of bangs. They were banging. Yeah, yeah, they were perfect, man. Those wings at that place, holy moly! <laughs> also, that those Brussels sprouts they have. They have oh, the these. Brussels sprouts are excellent. Yeah. I know. You do some with a little bit of caramelized onions on yeah, there. So I'm really excited. Some so, bacon. And so when we when we play there, we're gonna everyone's gonna dinner. eat well. Yeah, yeah we're we're yeah. gonna eat for well, sure. Like there's a because <laughs> we're at sound checks at six thirty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sound. No. No. Mm-hmm. Loden's at six. Might double okay. down. Yeah. So Loden's at six thirty. <clears throat> you know, get done with sound check and then fucking eat, right? And yeah. Then play yeah. the show. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. We'll, we'll be in there. We should go to Chowing on some Winchester should, food. Yeah, we should yeah, stop. You guys should come down early. Just eat first. 
Really? Get to get their, get the get their food get their food happy hour. Oh, then we go to LBM. We get the burger there. <laughs> and then what do you, after what do you, what we get you the have? burger there, then we get wings and Brussels sprouts at the Winchester. I have six stomachs. Triple down. <laughs> yeah, kind of got to do a triple header. I'll fall asleep on stage, man. I can't <laughs> yeah, <do that>. exactly. <laughs> he's gonna be all like he's all he's gonna be all like all sweaty, smelling like garlic, farting. Yeah, it's like, like he's just, he's <laughs> bloated. <laughs> yeah, so normal but sleeping. Stomach completely extended because he's eaten like four meals. Hey man, if you get, you know, you gotta know how to party. Gotta know how to party. <laughs> that's how you party. Yeah, that's, that's how I want to guess. What's up, ladies? Hey, listen. If you don't my want me on my garlic cost fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. If you don't want me on my garlic yeast, you don't deserve me at my bathedest. <laughs> I if we could get extra stomachs attached either. to us, there'd be somebody out there doing it. There'd be somebody just like, somebody like, hey, yo, Vinny, check it out. I got another stomach. How much what was that? You, you got another? a what? You got a what? How much was that? 30 grand. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's cheap too. It was usually fifty grand. I got twenty grand off. So yeah, but what you're talking about is like you would require like three stomachs, yeah, two for eating and one for backpipes. Yeah, you could play <laughs> backpipes. You, know, you play bagpipes on your third stomach. You know, it's got a valve. It's got a valve switch. It's like a little remote control. I see that going all the wrong. Got, yeah. yeah. They got it on control by your cell phone. His other stomach and sort of chews it like a child. I got my, yeah, I got my other stomach hooked up to my cell phone. It'll be really awesome. <laughs> Try it, guys. Like his breath always kind of smells like vomit. Okay, so let's go back to the air fryer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we did kind of trail off a little bit. Yeah, though. a little bit. Trail off a little. Um, we did... Uh, so, so we did the, the the Winchester wings in the oven. Put these. Uh, I had these chicken thighs that I had um, marinated in a uh, plethora of different seasonings. Ah, the, and, the gobble of you, know, you know, um, yeah. I, I, I never let you, you in on that. I will one, never. You know, but I will never so they've been marinating for about uh, a day. Mm. Yeah, and then uh, so I, I threw them in the uh, air fryer. And I don't know what you guys what you guys really think good, of man. the uh, air. D it was my I'm first. One. I'm getting one. I want one of those in my house. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were cooked. They were cooked really well. Yeah, yeah it it but and I mean, it was, was so them? easy. Yeah. Yeah. No, you could just fry. go in there. You could just put them in there. You could just forget about them. <laughs> I know it's crazy. It's air fry Set right it away and forget it. <laughs> Set it and forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, and, and what kind of deal did you get on your air fryer? Well, I got it for Christmas. Actually, so, I know. think you can get. Three I thought of those it was a late. I I actually thought I was like, oh, here we go. I got this thing that I'm not going to use, you know what I mean? But so I used it and I'm like, God, I think I'm just going to take my microwave, throw it away <laughs> and just use that thing because man, mm. I mean, it, it does, it's not as quick as the microwave, I guess, mm. but it's definitely it should be as quick as better. Better. Oh, it's far superior. Yeah. I mean, with an air fryer, <laughs> right. essentially an air fryer is a microwave with a convection oven. No, is it really microwaves in there though? Yeah. I don't think. No. Why do you think the, the the way it's covered the the door? There's a reason for all that. It's to keep you from getting brain cancer, guy. You never <laughs> noticed that? I I have no idea. Honestly, I never even looked into how an air fryer works. Yeah, so I would have I to have watch no the idea. infomercial again. I have no idea. I'm too busy doing a lot of different things. Yeah, I'm sure the arrows <laughs> will explain everything. Yeah. Well, as you that? can see, the here <laughs> in the air fryer, the heat comes from. All sides of the chicken, not just the top or the bottom, as we can see in this illustration with these arrows. So, I just figured it just blew heat in and just blew it around or something. I don't know. No, I, dude, I don't know. It's I have the same. No idea. Um, you know, the, the, you, you ever go to Subway? The device that heats up your sandwiches. God, I haven't been to Subway in probably well, the the sub the toaster at Subway is the same. I'm gonna show my age if I tell you how long ago I've been at Subway. 1937. <laughs> the I remember, remember, remember the their opening year. I remember. Cold I remember when me and Rockefeller we went to the we went to the first Subway. Me and Stan it was absolutely wonderful. John D is like successful brother. Those were the days, 1874. I just, I had, I had just received a pigeon message from John Hancock. <laughs> oh Lord, 
<laughs> he explained to me that he was going to have a horse racing party. <laughs> I fetched up the wagon right away. <laughs> Oh Lord! <laughs> is that a thing? Fetched up the wagon. He Fetched up, up the he wagon. That's, yeah. not, that's, that's, not, that's not even like a sentence. I don't know. Like, Fetch up the wagon, will you? Fetched <laughs> up the wagon. Oh, no, you made that shit up, man. <laughs> well, it, it was really nothing. It's <laughs> uh, gonna, gonna say random. I fetched up the wagon. That Fetch up the wagon, wagon. darling. <laughs> and we were all. Hang the DJ. That was yes. maddening. <laughs> yes. It was 1655. They were doing a hanging. And I said I wouldn't go. I'm not going <laughs> to. So, while we, were, <laughs> while, while we were making these, uh, doing this air fried chicken mm -hmm. and heating up the Winchester chicken wings. And Delicious. The, uh, and the, um, Delicious. I... Sense some tension. The natives were getting restless. And, <laughs> the natives uh, were getting restless. So I, I, I took some uh, potatoes that I had, and I scalloped them. You know, put them through the little thing and sliced it's up a mandolin. some. And then I put some uh, mixture of oils in my cast iron skillet, and I fried up one by one. Potato chips for these guys. He also milked a kitten while he was there. <laughs> it's a little tat in a little saucer. That's the flavor that you get with ranch. People don't know that that's actually kitten milk. <laughs> they need to find a way to market kitten milk, and they yeah. need it ranch. So kitten milk. Yeah, yeah, I kitten milk. That'll tat. that'll go over real well. That won't make anybody throw up in their mouth at all. You know, it's, no. it's, 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 cat, ranch. it's cat milk, guys. You know, <laughs> that's why they call it ranch. Mm. You ever wonder, like, what, what, what is this ranch oh flavor? Ranch it's is cat milk. <laughs> ranch is buttermilk and sour cream. Or, yeah. And cat milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's that third ingredient. You're like, what is that? That's delicious. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just, a, it's just a chives. Listen, Jim, it's just a teaspoon. It's just a, it's just a teaspoon of cat milk. Like this well, much. It's a but it makes a world of difference. It's a packet. Yeah, it's, it's a, a packet. packet. It yeah, is. it's a packet. And, and then one packet. Well, there's hey, there's what like is that flavor? In there? Oh, that tastes like a packet. It tastes like a veg. Like they used to. <laughs> my mom used to get it all the time the for like spinach dip. It's called yeah. vegol. Was that it called vegol or something like that? No, no it's you know what? Seasoning. You know what? Ranch seasoning, dude. What? When I was a kid, like I, when I was a kid, dude. Uh, in my day, my my mom would uh, mix the um, French onion soup with the uh, sour cream. Oh yeah, that's, that's French onion dip, though. Yeah, but I mean, it's not it's far off from ranch. It's totally far from ranch. I mean, what? Uh, let's see. You're missing the. Did man. you guys do that before or after you dodged the Velociraptors? Yeah. yeah. Is, that, <laughs> is that? Is that? <laughs> yeah, ranch really has manners in it. There's, there's some sort of emulsion in ranch. Yeah. But, you know. Well, there's a little bit of cat milk. <laughs> cat milk. <laughs> <laughs> and, and an emotion like uh, you know you can call it whatever you want like. you can call it mayonnaise you can call it uh, what's hipster mayonnaise aioli aioli, aioli. whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always have to say that I'm like hey can I have some hipster because I'm in the midwest so I need ranch I guess hipster and uh, <laughs> I thought that was sriracha <laughs> so I said mayonnaise that's hipster ketchup no and, and <laughs> so I, I asked uh, hey can I get a ranch or whatever you guys want to call it aioli or your special sauce or whatever whatever you want to call ranch let's just do that cat barrio, milk juice it's, it's barrio wait, wait barrio <laughs> calls it uh like their special sauce or something i don't even know what it's like the, it, it, it's like it's it's like a spicy ranch mm -hmm. yeah you know, they call it Santa Fe. There's, no, it's like their secret sauce or yeah, something like that. You know, spicy oh wait, no, 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 no. They call it crack sauce. That's what crack they call sauce. It. Crack what? Sauce. Yeah. Oh well, that sounds good. <laughs> Bar <laughs> who, who does this? <laughs> this is uh, Barrio. Barrio. Yeah, Barrio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah, where the, 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 the where, where the tacos are They're made with help, right? wet paper towels. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Yeah, they got their fans. Watch yeah, out, I dude. I don't want to yeah, yeah, get yeah, jumped yeah. by the Barrio yeah, brothers. Yeah, yeah, I know. The Barrio brothers. 
<laughs> like we're talking about Jay Barrio is delicious. <laughs> You're just being racist against the white people who open up Mexican restaurants. What's well, wrong I'm the with one you, that Jay? It's weird when anybody tells me they don't like Chipotle. Chipotle is delicious. To be like, I hate Chipotle, and I'll like, be like, Why? 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 You know what I don't well, like about Chipotle? No. You know what I don't like about Chipotle? Let me why? tell you. Yeah, okay, I'm, I want to yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know? You tell me, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> so the lines, it's ridiculous, and the hype. Dude, I don't know. It it just bothers me. I There's every time I walk gotta, in there, gotta, I feel gotta, all gotta, weird. I'm like, smart. oh, I gotta wait in this line that a bunch of Oh, dude, you know, I found a, I found a place. I'm not even going to use a word. But. That we got to go to. Because it's like, okay, imagine Chipotle, right? But actually serve Mexican food. <laughs> My mind so, was I'm, was so, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but no. No? No. no. Chipotle should be Chipotle. Well, this isn't Chipotle. Chipotle isn't Mexican food. It's know, not. Is, is, if anybody wants opposite, to know, here's some tips uh, on going to your Chipotle. Place that isn't Chipotle. It's uh, okay, good. if you're going to Chipotle and you want, uh, want some question. extra meat on there, there's a few tips. Why do you want extra meat? I want extra meat Why? every time. Why? I, I want to eat. I want to eat four or five pounds of food that in one sitting. That thing weighs like three and a half <laughs> pounds. <laughs> That's right. I want no, no, double no. meat. The, food, the, the burrito does not weigh that much. No, no, it doesn't. See, thing is, at least a pound of food. Yeah, it's at least it's at least a thousand calories when you walk into a Chipotle. Don't immediately tell them that you want extra meat if you want extra meat. Wait until they give you a scoop of meat, ask for a little bit more, and do, then say, do hey, you realize, can you give me the extra do meat? Do you realize how trashy you sound? Yeah. I yeah. Love you, okay, guy. I don't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. Hey, listen, hey. he's getting all the meat. Does this, does this <laughs> guy, does, does, all this, meat. <laughs> does this guy look like he's, he has any shame about meat? whatsoever? <laughs> no I care. want more meat. I want all the meat, God damn I want it. all the chicken. What do you, what do you want about, boy? <laughs> listen, listen, a little. I don't, I don't eat a Chipotle. Hand with the I don't eat a Chipotle because I don't want to. I don't want to eat a meal and hate myself immediately after. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad, you know. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's pretty, pretty good. That, that I ate that no, much food in one yeah, sitting. No, no cheese, no sour. Don't ever, yeah, don't yeah, ever pass that, that off as healthy. It's sour. It's no, salsa. Whatever. Uh, chicken. <laughs> whatever. Five pounds of it. Jesus. And then it's all mixed together. It's like basically a flour tortilla with like the bottom of a garbage bag right in the middle of it. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Mm. Damn. Oh, could you put S more meat in that, please? <laughs> Sign me up, sir. Yeah, man. Sign me mm, up. This is good. And wrap, it, and wrap it in two tortillas. What is that? I guess there's a there's an amber alert. Uh, could everyone look for a small little white girl. Sometimes it's a small little... You know what? No, dude, that's all you no, see on national TV. There's a, there's a couple. It's never anyone else but a cute white when girl. When you go there, get the burrito <laughs> bowl. Get the burrito bowl. Okay. okay. You got to help Ask us find Amber bowl. Ashley. Have them put the stuff all on the burrito <laughs> bowl. The Amber Ashley? Amber Ashley. Well, and by then, the time anyone sees this, you ask it's going to be like a day or two later. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, but yeah, I hope whoever... Yeah, really. Is found. Oh, it's usually I, I, like, yeah, all it, jokes aside. Yeah. All jokes aside, it's usually um, it's a thing with the, between the parents. Usually, you know, in Cleveland. No, yeah, it's like a, it's a but, uh, I'm gonna yeah, tensions flare. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, know, because know. that's worth it. Tensions flare, and I accidentally kidnap somebody. Well, no, oh, it's kid. because. You know, they didn't agree, and I took the kid here, but I'm pissed off because you're with another girl, or a guy, or girl, or whatever. It's a girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And whatever. You know, it's like, it's always something. Hey, listen, man. Not always. No, listen, it's not always. Not always. Listen, in a Sometimes it's like world. a real, like, tragedy. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, for the most part. That's why in a 90s kind of world, I'm glad I got my girls. What do you mean? He's like quoting "Living girls? Living Single" like yes. that. Yes, the the the, the theme yes. song. Steve Davick is number one soul brother. All right. I don't know what that means. Living mm -hmm. single. No. Or is that what it is? I don't that know is, what that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. What Martin is Lawrence that? was in that. No, 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 no. Martin Lawrence wasn't was in that. No, oh, that was Martin Queen Martin. Latifah was in that. That's yeah, Queen Latifah. Yes, what, was this like? It was a long running sitcom. In the oh yeah, it was nice. Yes, yeah. in the nineties. It was so nineties. Yeah. It was super nineties. Like yeah, it, it's even in the song. <laughs> in the nineties kind I was of world, sixty-seven back in the nineties. Forty then. The whole decade, I was. He wasn't watching TV then. Back then, he was like back to books. He was actually. 
He was actually translating the classics from Greek to Italian. That, that, back then, he was just trying to figure out how to deal with being immortal. Yeah. <laughs> There's a coffin right behind the green screen. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it's crazy. Him and, him and Socrates would have drinking contests. Like remember that, that that Queen song? That was uh, the theme song for Highlander. That's how he wakes up. <laughs> like he just comes on. I am a mortal. I have within me blood of kings. And he's just like this. Naked, just for wow. like 30 seconds. Naked. For no reason at all. <laughs> like at the end of the song, it's just like... It sounds, hey. it sounds like me whenever my roommate's not home. Well, that's Why? it. <laughs> Why, you reenact the naked Olympics? <laughs> well, it's just... I because that's how the Olympics were around. originally... <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It was naked, guys. Naked, naked sports. <laughs> naked sports. It was okay. That's real. It was Greco Roman. Yes, I bet it wrestling. Was. <laughs> the time it was just, just naked and oily. The time was just Greco, my friend. <laughs> yes, yeah. Just Greco. Just Greco. Yeah, just Greco. Greco. You don't think the Romans did any of that stuff? Well, that, that was later, though. We're talking yeah. about the Olympics. So it would just been Greco. Oh, yeah. Because, well, if I'm still alive now. Wouldn't I have been a part of anything after earlier? You know what I mean? I don't know. Was Thomas Jefferson a really cool dude? Or <laughs> I mean, like, I, did you suspect anything about him and his slaves? <laughs> like when you guys were hanging out? I mean, I mean, you know, because I mean, you know, I heard Sally Hemings was a gold-looking woman, but I mean, that doesn't make it right. Does not make it right. What about Ben Franklin, huh? What was he like? I heard he's a real scumbag. What about Ben Franklin? Yeah. I heard let's, that guy, let's talk about Ben Franklin. Did you smoke yeah. weed with Ben Franklin? Or? <laughs> like, were you no, what, was that? What, what movie was that? Did you guys hang out with that weird sex island he liked? <laughs> you know the weird sex island wait, you would hang out at. Wait. Hold on. Let's just talk about this weird sex island. <laughs> you didn't know wait, about Thomas Jefferson had a weird No, no, no. no. <laughs> ben How many of the him? founding fathers had crabs? <laughs> oh, too all? I don't know. I feel like everybody had crabs back uh, then, right? Probably. <laughs> I mean, That's, it was a society yeah, of people sure. that, that, shit, had crabs. that bathed once a year. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Like once a year. Yeah, they had oh, some sort of... What? It's April. I yeah. guess I have to bathe now. Yeah. I hope I don't catch my death from my annual bathing. Yeah. That was good. I hope the lice don't I mean, eat me alive, fellas. I mean, here's the thing. Like, like we don't think about this, but our, like our parents, grandparents, probably showered once a week. That was the thing. Your Saturday night bath. Well. Like the working class guys, because I mean, I think all of us descended from working class guys, right? Like, yeah. working class guys would have a bath on Saturday night. That was a thing. I'm not making it up. That was just the way it was. You know what I mean? Like, right. Um, was water expensive? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. No, because, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone ever, well, my grandmother did, mm -hmm. it, which is weird because so my grandmother's older than my dad. My dad, I'm well, like, I hope he, so. I would hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's witch, some of your Italian witchcraft and involved. So, so, like it, for that, it was like every day, you know, whatever, blah blah blah, you know, because I lived with her for a little amount of time, you know, mm -hmm. which isn't what I was used to when I was younger. You know what I mean? So. But now it's like, you know, in the wintertime, it's definitely once a day. But summertime, possibly up to three times a day, take a shower. Really? Yeah. Wow. No, wow. absolutely. Yeah. If I'm home and around, like, I'll, I'll take one in the morning for sure because that mm -hmm. wakes me up. But if I'm, if I got a chance to get home at any point, I'm taking another shower. <laughs> Just because it's, dude, it's not feel that. It's hot as fuck like at the station. You know, yeah, yeah. It. Like if I'm not, if I'm working the summer just in a car where it's yeah. temperature controlled, once a day. But if it's like, I'm at the gas station, yeah. share when I get up, share when I get home. Yeah. And possibly one for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't always shower right before bed, but it sure is nice to shower before bed because you wake up feeling a little fresher, but I still need to take a shower. Mm hmm to I don't know yeah. it, I never completely wake up until I take a shower yeah 
You, you were just I mean? constantly. Yeah. And yet, a hundred years ago, that would have been weird. Scrappy. Yeah. <laughs> right, you would have right, been like right, a wasteful, right. weird, shitty guy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, look. Hey, hey, look. There's Vinny Three Showers. Piece of shit. Yeah. Fucking rich guy with his three fucking showers a day. Yeah. Hey, take a shower on Saturday like the rest of us, you mama Luke. <laughs> But, you know, I think what, uh, growing up when I was younger, though, like, it wasn't, like, hygiene wasn't pushed on me. So I think, I I feel, I don't know if I was, but I feel like I was the smelly kid. You know what I mean? Oh, really? that and, sucks, dude. Yeah, and it, it felt, I was like, once I got into, like, middle school, kind of, I was like, no, oh, no, I definitely have to take care of business. You know what I mean? So... So yeah, so I, I don't know if I'm like overachieving now, but I think uh, no. I mean, I, I felt like I felt that keenly, like like in grade school, like in first grade, like yeah, because like I was one of those little kids who's like in love immediately. Yeah, like I'm six years old and like I'm like what's up, what's up, Betty Lopez? Like I'm <laughs> like in love with Betty Lopez, like writing songs about Betty Lopez. So you know, like like you know, I'm like I'm like can I have some cologne. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to get my dad to buy me cologne and to buy me, like, because he's, 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 remember the Arid Extra Dry? He'd use that <laughs> Is shit. That right? Yeah, and I would laugh, and I would you try to use it too, but I'd laugh my ass off because it tickled. Because, you know, you're six. Um, right. But, uh, yeah, no, dude, like, I was always keenly aware of, of girls and not wanting to smell or be weird. Right. I mean, I was already weird. Like, so, like, I couldn't, I couldn't help be weird, so I at least didn't want to smell. Right. You know, like it was, it was too late to not be weird, yeah. Well, no, and mm -hmm. and and you know, it, this is graphic in nature for anyone that uh, <laughs> is going to see. But no, like you know, like when you're with a girl sexually, sure. You know, it's like you know, you just like to be clean. Let's just say that. You know, yeah, I man. just like to be. As want, clean yeah. as I can possibly you want a beautiful, be. Beautiful, like, just clean palette. You want a beautiful time. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. week on how many showers? <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't get some of these. Like, you know, some awesome. of my friends, they're like homeless people. Like, fucking, you know, like when I was younger, like, it's like you're disgusting. Me. Yeah. You haven't showered, and you guys are fucking. I know you haven't showered in like four days. <laughs> I smell like it, and you guys are over there but fucking. Don't you like, think? Like, it, and that's the thing. Like, it's like weird because guys are asshole <laughs> because they demand their woman to be super clean, but like women can care less. You know what kind of bullshit, dirty motherfuckers women have to deal with? <laughs> you know well, what I mean? The kind of women I want to sleep with. Cuts. <laughs> I would argue. Um, Maybe you need to but, elevate your game there. But no, I think I think girls I I think girls have to accept a little bit more than guys do. Or a lot more. Oh, yeah. I think you know I mean? you, you know, try to convince them that they do. But a guy like me is gonna sit here and tell you, baby, you don't you don't get out of there. Go find a guy who takes a shower three fucking times a day if you like. Like this guy right here. Don't that's bullshit. Listen, if that guy smells like sack and crack, and he's trying to, like, get into you, he needs to go away. Like, you, you are better. Baby, you are better than that. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much pollution can accumulate on something the size of a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Denbeck, folks. Yeah. One to grow on with Steve Denbeck. <laughs> what else, guys? What, what the fuck? Did we did we do the chicken thing? Yeah, yeah it was we did delicious. The thighs and yeah, we did the yeah. thigh thing and. Man, you know what though? Um, I'm really excited to play the Winchester uh, this Friday with you guys and with uh, uh, Vinny's good friends in uh, Stud Bowls Disco Biscuit. They're soon to be our. Good oh, I hope so. I hope so. Um, <laughs> I'm just excited. I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah. I, I hope it is gonna be a good time. Hope you guys yeah, come out. You know, not just for us, but to go see these guys. Uh, I hear they pull on a hell of a live show. <laughs> They're amazing. Uh, well, dude, they, they were telling me, and I'm going to spread the rumor even more. Because even then, they, they, couldn't, they couldn't substantiate this information. But they used to have, like, these fire breathers that were uh, on their shows. It was a guy and a girl. And apparently, they have both passed. Oh no! Since yeah, that's so sad. So yeah, that's tragic. No, and they it was all hearsay, so they were kind of yeah. kept 
saying, you know, hey, this is hearsay, whatever, you know. Um, but dude, I guess they they did say they heard whether or not it's true or not, and I don't want to disrespect anyone, but the girl, I guess, passed away on stage doing the <laughs> show. What? Wow. Or something. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. You guys can go back at the other show. You probably it's probably all wrong what I just said. <laughs> or it's all right. Whatever. But Bridge yeah. The terrible guy who makes things up. Yeah. Awful person. <laughs> I'm telling you. Awful. I don't even trust what I say. He's got <laughs> he's got early onset Alzheimer's, so it's all over his face. You can see it just everywhere. <laughs> but no, that's what I got from that in my memory banks, you know what I mean? So, not to watch that again. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, like I watched it the first time. I totally watched it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even watch our own podcast. <laughs> it's not true. I watched, it. I watched that one with the the girl. When was that? <laughs> Actually, I I was just out with Haley the other day. Haley. Yeah. And uh, Haley's a straight business. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. she was doing. She's trying to get like a uh, um improv group going here in Cleveland because she was doing that in Turkey for a while. Like the country turkey. I feel like there's a lot of those here already. Yeah, but yeah, that's the thing. She was trying to do that, yeah. and somebody's trying to either like make money off of it. Don't we have or, a second city? Here? <laughs> you know, I I don't know. Or do we give it up? Do we I don't know. Second city. But like, yeah, she said it's weird. It's not as free as it was in Turkey, you know, or whatever. I don't know. That's my impression of what. I gathered from that conversation. How much scotch were you drinking then? Two fingers, three fingers? I, dude, I actually wasn't intoxicated at all when I was over there. Well, I yeah. mean, I had two beers, whatever. Oh, three, maybe, yeah. three, maybe three. Yeah, maybe eight beers. He had six. Maybe 17. Six, <laughs> six thumbs of vodka. Six thumbs of vodka. <laughs> He's just drinking it out of a wine skin. <laughs> Held at an angle. <laughs> so it just drips right, right, right here, right small the corner, batch. Uh, corner of his small mouth batch wine and skin. just dribbles down his beard. It's a small batch wine skin. It's, fancy. it's, it's okay, years. guys. Vodka's antiseptic. It's ten thousand dollars. You are a clever fella. <laughs> A wine skin, <laughs> twenty years old, was mid taken from a. Now that's now that's a hipster move, right small there. Small batch, cow. drinking out of a wine a skin. Batch, that's a thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A real, a real unique cow, a real almost extinct. Small batch. <laughs> it's the milk from it, those uh, <laughs> those Japanese cows that are supposedly delicious. Yeah. Oh, that uh, Kobe. 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 Kobe beef. No, you yeah. gotta say Kobe. It's not That's, Kobe. I Kobe. said Kobe. Yeah. It's a Kobe. I know. I we both said Kobe. Because we know. Because we know. That's it. Yeah, beef beef made from, from drunken Kobe. cows who are regularly Kobe. massaged. <laughs> Fantastic. Massaged and brushed. I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, I watch these guys on the YouTubes. You know, they get the, uh, lavender. They'll get that shit. You know, they'll get a Kobe mm. thing. Like a, like a, like a, like ten, like a 10 pound thing of Kobe. And it's like... Right. That they paid like seven thousand dollars for, yeah. And I'm just like, I want to eat that, but I don't want to spend seven thousand dollars on it. Is it that much better though? See, I don't want to. I don't want to eat that. Yeah. You know why? Look at it. Because it tastes like beef, and I already know what beef <laughs> tastes like. You know what I mean? Oh, it's got more marble. It's supposed to be beefy beef. Like yeah. it's supposed to be beefier. It's supposed to be beefier. Like this one there's guy, more fat content. this one cocksucker, dry aged some Kobe. <laughs> And I was like, you motherfucker. Because, you know, dry aging produces a lot of waste. Uh -huh. He did it any fucking way. And I'm just like, I don't know if you're a hero or a monster. So yeah. why is it so expensive? Rarity, that's all. You know, uh, it's, 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 um, it's one of those things called uh, because we can. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not just that. It's literally the rarity. Like, look, nine times out of ten, you get something that says Kobe at a restaurant. It's, it's not. You're getting ripped off. Yeah. Um. Because there's only so many. There's only so many of those cows. Like, yeah. like literally, there's only how so many? many. I don't know. <laughs> God. Oh, he's he's yeah. gonna Google that so shit. Many. How many cows? We're gonna get to the bottom no, of this right now. I mean, you have a computer <laughs> right there. You could ask Google. No, but it's it's in the hundreds, dude. It's not a lot of cows. Hundreds. Hundreds. No way. Yeah, hundreds. So, so it's that good. 
Don't get me wrong, they like, because you know, you have your Kobe, right? right? Then you have your Wagyu, which is a little more easy to get. Uh-huh. And, um, and yeah, now, the like, Wagyu is and now there's some bullshit about. Australian Kobe uh-huh. where I'm just like, okay, that's not Kobe at all. That's- it's like, it's like a jabroni Kobe. Yeah. Does it have anything to do with uh, <laughs> Kobe Bryant? No. Yes. No, yeah. see right there. Okay, so. So. Food's biggest scam. It really is, though. I mean, so Kobe is a Wagyu beef. Okay, so did they find the person? I like how you're the only person that gets these alerts. Well, I turn my sound off all the time because it would drive me crazy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I, I get mine. blown up constantly with I got my phone anything. on vibrate. <laughs> Nobody likes me, so I leave those on okay. so that I remember that I exist right. in the world yeah. and that I'm important. See, okay. jerks. <laughs> I don't have any friends. So, so, no, let me tell you. Uh, Kobe beef is a Wagyu beef from the Tajima strain of Japanese black yeah, cat. Yeah, yeah, and the Kobe prefecture. Raised in Japan's Hyojo Prefecture, according to the rules set mm-hmm. by the Kobe Beef Marketing and Distribution Promotion Association. Uh-huh. The meat is a delicacy, valued for its flavor, tenderness, fatty, well marbled. Beautiful marble. This is not yes. even funny. Kobe beef can be prepared as steak, sukiyaki. Can we get to the shab- how many heads? Shabu, sashimi, and ooh, I'd like some. Sashimi. I could fuck with some shabu shabu right now. Some bro. some oh, some bro. beef sashimi. Mm-hmm. I'm because it would idea. because it would so, it would taste like beef. It would be delicious. So the Kobe beef is generally considered one of the three top brands known as Sandel Wagyu, the three big beefs. Mm-hmm. I thought that was uh three of the guys here. Right now. It's just you, darling. And uh <laughs> Along with uh, Matsusaku, Matsusaka beef and Ami beef or, man, this sucks that this is going to be recorded out there forever because I do not know how to pronounce Japanese. Pronounce any of this stuff. Uh, Yanazawa beef. Kobe beef is called Kobe Niku. Yeah. So they were brought to Japan from China at the same time is the cultivation of rice. So, I don't know. Who cares? Yeah. So, there's uh, 1983. I guess they started promoting a lot. Something. Whatever. You know, it's a product. They're selling yeah. a thing. Beef. <laughs> right. Beef, you know, that rare meat that nobody knows. <laughs> what does that taste like? <laughs> This exotic beef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I talk about burgers all the time. You know? Yeah. It's like. Yeah, so there's eight restaurants in our country that serve certified. And it's beef. like, dude, whatever. Dude. What, what was that? There's eight restaurants in the entire. Eight country. restaurants in the entire our United States. That serves, uh, certified Kobe beef. Um, man, what are these eight restaurants? <laughs> Wow. Okay, so a single cow sells between twenty and thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars a cow. Wow. I mean, I don't know. That's a bargain. Seems. That's like a. It's like a, a car. Bro, like you, like my. Like thirty thousand dollars a cow. Really nice girl, um, how much? Little how, shit how many pounds of beef can you get out of a cow? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not a butcher. It's not as much as you think. I mean. A cow does, uh, you would have to profit off the cow no, like, in okay. some way, right? How many pounds of the cow? <laughs> I mean... According to NPR... 1,500 pounds after you tear them down. 1,500 pounds? Yeah. So if... So let's do the math. So if you bought a cow, mm-hmm. and you sold the beef for... I don't know. Say, ten bucks a pound. That's two thousand bucks a pound. Huh? Thirty thousand dollar cows, two thousand bucks a pound for fifteen hundred pound. Is it two thousand dollars a pound? I think you're doing that wrong. Yeah, I think it's like two hundred. 
Yeah. Maybe like two hundred bucks a pound. Wait, wait, which is hundred bucks. Yeah, two hundred bucks a pound. Two thousand. Which is but, but Who's that, got, that's hey, I ridiculous. Right here. So wait. We just literally did. I, no, uh, it's broken. Let me just my stuff. It's so fine. you'd have to charge four hundred bucks right. for a pound cut of Kobe beef. No, you charge one hundred fifty dollars for like a fucking six ounce steak, which is what they do. When you probably get it at the butcher, but when you get it at the not the restaurant, the no, at the restaurant, no. the, the, you know, the you all know eight I, of them. You know what I found about like in this country. steak and stuff like that? It's like it's almost better for you to just get it at a, a really good steak place because you're not. Like if you make it at home, it's you're not saving that much. No, you're really not. I know you're really not. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, we for uh, Steve's birthday we went to uh, what did we Delmonico's. Do? Delmonico's, which is great. No, 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 no. We went to Ferris for my birthday. For your birthday, oh, that's we right. went my to Delmonico's. Oh, you asked me to go to Ferris, but you don't ask me to go to Delmonico. I didn't go to Delmonico's <laughs> either. Well, yeah. So I had that. <laughs> I had one of those tomahawk Could, choppy things. Did, I'm sure you liked it. I was. Dude, Delmonico's is good, dude. Yeah. It was good. I kind of wish they'd see it sadness somewhere better. Yeah. But maybe it's because I wasn't dressed up enough. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Yeah. It's my fault. You know what right? Next time, though, next year, oh, yeah. I'll look a little sharper, you know? Yeah. If you get sat not, you know, by the fucking door. Yeah, we'll have uh, suits. We'll dress in suits. No, it'll no, be no, it'll be our just, birthday suits, guys. I'm pressed. I'm just saying. Like, a little more pressed. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Well, do they have a great uh they have a great happy hour that my friends and I Jason, Maria, Nicole and all those you know. Yeah. Not us friends. <laughs> no. Not you losers. Well no, I don't want to sit <laughs> not, by the door. Not you I don't want to sit by the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the most that was the most that was the most that was the sweetest most gentle fuck you I've ever gotten in my life wow <laughs> wow <laughs> I don't want to sit by the door guys <laughs> street rat riff riff <laughs> yeah oh. yeah oh man I mean, <laughs> you might as well. You might as well. You might as well just seat people by their tax bracket. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> ready here first, folks. Yeah, I'm gutter trash. Yeah, yeah. You gotta before you before you go into the steakhouse. You gotta bring your W twos, <laughs> so we know where you sit. Oh man, you know what's funny though? It's, it does remind me when I was a, when I was a lot younger. I would celebrate all my birthdays at Frank and Polly's. Do you remember them? Yeah. Downtown. Yeah. Downtown. Yeah. yeah, you know. Um, and I would always wear a tie. And I'd always have a nice place to sit. Nice. It matters. Yeah. It matters. It does. It, does. it matters yeah. if oh, it you does. wear a tie. That's why they make ties. Well, and if you know the people, too, yeah. you know, it always matters. And I would always have uh, the chicken Rosa Maria and uh, rosemary chicken and uh, yeah. spaghetti and meatballs. I don't know. It's, I miss that place. I miss, like, all those old Italian joints. Yeah, they're all fucking gone now, though. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I uh, uh, there's Santos. some. Yeah, I mean, there's some little Italy, I guess. But I mean, you know. so yeah, in Little Italy, I hear uh, good things about Mia Bella over in Little Italy, and um, the uh, Luca over on the West Bank of the Flats over there. My brother works there. He loves it. Yeah. Oh, you're you you have David, a brother. Yeah, yeah brother Luca there, on yeah. the West Bank. Yeah. yeah. It's Where's not the it? West Bank, dude. Yeah. It's over Superior it's Viaduct. The, yeah. It's on the viaduct. Oh, it's there. It's upstairs, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One, yeah. One of the yeah my little brother works there. Dude, they work his ass off. He loves it there, though. Yeah. Nice. He's learning so much about... Uh, he's really into, like, Italian stuff, like, right now, so... And the owner has a shine room. Took a shine room, because... Uh, so, no, but, uh, dude, I've, I've heard a lot, because I have a lot of guests that go there, you know? And, dude, they just... Everyone loves it. So I'm like, eh... I don't normally go to like Italian restaurants, you know. What I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like you go to a Puerto well, also, Rican restaurant. I, I, feel yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's also. Oh, so, so, so do you call it an Italian restaurant? Or you just call it a restaurant? restaurant? Yeah. I call it a. Well, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. You just, you just call it a restaurant, right? Because you're Italian. You don't call it like an Italian restaurant. I don't mean, it's like, let's just go okay. to the restaurant. Right, right, yeah, I mean, right, I don't, right. I don't, it's like, I don't want to be a dick, but I feel like, you know, the whole Italian restaurant thing. Stop being hot cuisine. Yeah, like, in the seventies and eighties, like you could still have like 
you know, like like a fresh modern Italian restaurant. Yeah, it just seems and have to it be me. cool. It's not cool anymore. It just seems to me that like an Italian restaurant has been, like Italian food is so incorporated with American culture and everything mm -hmm. that it just doesn't even seem. Like yeah, different. no, I know like, what you mean. And and the fact that I like, you know, the guy, I grew up with it. And I could say the same thing with like stuffed cabbage, mm, so uh, proper cash, Delicious. stuff yeah. like that. Like that stuff that like we make at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't go out to eat that. No. You go out to eat steak or seafood or whatever. You know what I mean? Or Yeah, because when you're here, you're right. family. <laughs> yeah. you know, they, got a, they got a nice proper yeah, cash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's that place in uh, Fairview Park? Um, Gunzelman's. Gunzelman's. So a nice paprikash. my friend Amy said she saw you guys at Gunzelman's. Oh yeah, yeah. And she said she was afraid to go say hi because she didn't think you would remember her. I bet it was that girl on the corner that we thought was making fun of us. <laughs> no, 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 no. She did look familiar. The girl in the corner, right? <laughs> yeah, the girl in the corner. She was saying she saw that guy. <laughs> Son of a bitch! We thought she was giving us grief. <laughs> We really did. It was so good. That fucking paprikash was good. And yeah. me and Steve were having a time. Yeah. I like days like that. And I don't care. Because I never hang out with my best friend. Which is and weird. They, and they even, I live with this guy. We never do anything. No, she 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 texts me and she's like, I think the guys in your band are in Gunzelman's right now. This was oh, like yeah? three weeks ago, man. Yeah, that was us. yeah, 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 that's yeah, us. Yeah. That was a really yeah, good day. Yeah, that was us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Man, that, that burger a, was good. That was a good ass day, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> that was a great experience. Yeah, man. Yeah. And they had NAs. Yeah. 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 Nice. It was just a good day, dude. Like, yeah, they had the good NAs, like yeah, the St. Paul like, girl really NA. Hoping. Where? So, so Gunselman's is in what? Like Fairview Park. It's in Fairview Park, Park uh, right on. Okay. Uh, yeah, so my 200, plan 215. Two fifteen in Lorraine. Okay. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go home, cop a shower, and we're gonna hang out. You know what I mean? We're gonna have a good, good ass Friday. You know what I mean? Like if we can build early enough, we'll get something to eat or not. Whatever. We're gonna do something. Right. It's gonna be a good, cause I feel like a lot of post shows lately. I've been either going to sleep or being a little pussy, you know. So I'm trying, you know, like yeah. I get off early enough. Do what you feel. I have a couple bucks in my pocket, you know. What I mean? Right. Yeah. Right. Should be a good time. Tim, what time do you get done with the class on Friday? Oh, I don't know. Dude, you need to know. You saw the the thing. I mean, I know, man. <laughs> Bro, I know I got a show. When are we gonna wrap this up? Cause I just want to go home and sleep. <laughs> Damn, bro. Sorry, guys. I'm done. You know what? I remember when we used to drink. It was so much more fun. <laughs> God. All right. Now, you know what? He's kind of right. Yeah. yeah I got to get to bed. I got to work should probably The, the wrap, wrap it up up. clock is running down. Yeah, really yeah. Shit, it's almost 1130. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys should come see the Battle for West Park <laughs> at um, Stud Bowl. With Stud Bowl's Disco, Disco Biscuits, Biscuits. Yeah. Disco at, Biscuit. at the Winchester. And I'll tell you what, Friday, will January not be 10th. as crabby as he is right now. He will not no, be. Fire, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, We're going to shave his back for him. He's going to feel good. <laughs> the ladies are going to be loving him. All right? <laughs> I'll see you. Where's this guy? Right there. I see you, camera. You fucking thing. You fucking camera. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll see you guys later. All right. All right. Hey, till next time. We'll see you guys. See ya.